Okay, what are John Nichols, Catherine Harris, Noam Chomsky, Al Sharpton, and Jason Alexander all agree on? Greg Palast is a genius! Greg Palast is in the studio with us, the investigative reporter with the BBC News, the Guardian, the author of his latest book, Billionaires and Ballot Bandits, How to Steal an Election in Nine Easy Steps. Greg Palast investigating the Coke Gang, Carl Rove, and their buck buddies uh, with comics by Ted Rawl and introduction by Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Wow, what a book uh, uh, on the top. 10 New York Times bestseller list. Greg Palace, congratulations yeah, and thanks. welcome. Out of the gate, but that's because people are panicked. They want to know what's going on here. But I want to make a correction. Catherine Harris did not call me a genius. She called me twisted and maniacal. Oh, yeah. I was wondering but, but who that actually, Catherine Harris I'm was. That's who that was. Catherine Harris. But yes. I, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Noam Chomsky, Michael Moore, they like me. But yeah. Catherine Harris said I was twisted and maniacal. She complained to Harper's Magazine about me and to Greg Palace, twisted and maniacal. But she didn't say that Greg Palace was wrong. Wrong. Right, and That's and different. so so billionaires and ballot bandits, how to steal an election in nine easy, nine easy steps. What are these guys doing to steal our elections? Great yeah, ballot. well, unfortunately, this is my sequel to The Best Democracy Money Can Buy, which you introduced to America, Tom, and I thought I'd never have to write a sequel, but here it is. Yeah. So you have nine ways, starting out with the good old Catherine Harris uh, trick, purging, uh, purging voters, right. starting with the so-called felon voters. That's how we started in yeah. 2000 with Catherine Harris knocking off tens of thousands of black folk, calling them felons. Their only crime was voting while black. They are back at it. If you look in Billionaires and Ballot Bandits, there's a chapter on back with the Florida felon con. That's like 80,000 right. people. And, for example, if you wonder how they do it, they take these databases and they find criminals like Mr. Robert Moore. Then they find someone in Florida like Mrs. Bobby Moore. Let me... Repeat that. Mr. Bobby, Mr. Robert Moore commits a crime. Mrs. Bobby, B-O-B-B-I Moore, is removed from the voter rolls. The, because she happens to live in a neighborhood that is largely minority or tends to vote Democratic? Well, they don't guess. They know. Next to every voter's name in Florida is their race. So I, when I look at those lists, and I, when I say that it's almost all black people, I'm not guessing in either of they. It says B-L-A next to their names. Now, just so you know how Whoa. many innocent people are on the list, the answer is, ready, 100%. They can't find a single real criminal illegal voter on the list. They said if they found one, the attorney general said, if I find one, I'll arrest them. I said, well, here's 80,000 names. Start arresting. He said, oh, it's just a list. But it's a list of people who now can't vote. So that's they've, just they've, one of nine tricks. They've just knocked 80,000 people off again? I mean, Again. Was... See, that's the whole thing. It's like, that's what I'm saying. Well, I, had, I felt I had to write a sequel, but then there are nine, eight other tricks. Because they, they, they knocked sixty to 80,000 off in the 2000 election, which got Bush within a close enough margin that if the Supreme Court would just stop the count in Florida, he could pretend that he won. Yeah. I mean, if, if, any, if even 1% of the number of black people removed in 2000 voted were allowed to vote, like Willie Steen, a Gulf War veteran that I, I met, if he was allowed to vote and he you know, never got a parking ticket, uh, Bush would not have been president. But we're going through that same game again, not only in Florida, but it's, now it's spread all over the United States. And by the way, the important thing, remember, I want to go back to one thing I never emphasized before. These databases of criminals, so-called aliens, um, suspect voters, who's coming up with these lists? Hmm. And the answer is a bunch of billionaires. The guy who did the first list is named Ken Langone. He just gave a million dollars to Mitt Romney, and they had breakfast. I tried to crash there or join them for breakfast. I didn't bring my checkbook. Um, <laughs> in New York a couple weeks ago. Without your checkbook, they're not going to let you in. <laughs> there were 37 billionaires, 37 billionaires having breakfast with Mitt Romney last week in New wow. York. Uh, Langone, the guy who came up with the first blacklist, and now the two guys that are coming up with the new blacklist. There is, there are the Koch brothers who have a database they call Themis, which right. they're using. And a guy who went uh, named after a flower by President Bush, uh, oh, Mr. Mr. Tur Turd Blossom. Mr. Turd Blossom, Carl Rove has something yes. called Data Trust, which yes. is he's working under contract with the Republican National Committee. These games are continuing, but now on a billion dollar basis. That's the game that I'm trying to bust. This is this is like Jim Crow on steroids. So Jim Crow on steroids and. Just because I'm so concerned, people get it. I've, we even have Ted Rawls, a 50-page comic book in the middle, mm -hmm. in case you're a 
victim of the uh, no child's behind left schooling in America, you can at least get the whole thing in the picture. Or you just want to read it quickly. You know, yeah. it's, it's, a, it's a quick yeah. read. Yeah, there you go. So we're talking with Greg Palace, his new book, Billionaires and Ballot Bandits, How to Steal an Election in Nine Easy Steps. You just named one of those steps. One of those steps. There's purging, there's caging, there's prestidigitizing, blocking, ejecting, and I can't remember all of them unless you let me cheat and look at the book. Yeah, that's but, quite right. Here you can. <laughs> it's, it's all right. I'll toss it to you. Ah, there we go. That's go. cheating. But the point is, for example, caging. They're back to caging. Yeah. Caging. If you don't, if for, you know, caging you know, they, they do a mailing, and if they you do, if you don't respond to the mailer, boom, your history. Yeah. What happens is Carl Rove did this. He mails out letters. It says, "Do not forward." When the letters come back, they call it caged. They then say, "Aha! The voters voting from a fraudulent address." Now Republicans say, "Well, of course, we have to challenge those voters." But you know where they're sending them? They're sending them to homeless shelters. They're sending them to uh, traditionally black colleges in August when the students aren't there. These aren't illegal voters. And they're sending them to soldiers who have been deployed. You got the punchline because right in here I have a caging list of the Naval Air Station. They've been sending these. They've been sending these caging lists, I kid you not, to active duty soldiers who are not at their home base where they're registered. Well, Mr. Rove, here you go. Take a look at that. Okay, salute, right? You're... RNC wrapping itself in the flag is meantime challenging tens of thousands of active duty soldiers saying that they're from uh, that they're illegal voters, even though you can vote from a war zone in America if you're an American citizen, believe it or not. And no one knows it. I talked to one soldier said I got to vote. I said because he mailed in his ballot. Right. But he didn't know that he was on the challenge. So it comes in. So his ballot comes in and then gets kicked off and 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 put in the put in the trash. And where are they using this? Wisconsin. Tight Senate races. This is what I want people to understand. There are 10 absolutely, you know, neat paper thin division Senate races that are right. on the line here. Now, I'm not here to elect Democrats. I'm not here to elect Obama's mama, but I don't want a Senate that hasn't been elected. I don't want a junta right. elected by uh, the Rove. Themis machine that the Koch own or Carl Rove's data trust. Yeah. That's where we're heading, and I'm very concerned in these 10 races. Okay, so you've got this. Uh, this poster, Seven Ways to Beat the Ballot Bandits. What do we do? What do we do? Okay, right at the back of, of Billionaires and Ballot Bandits, we have Seven Ways to Beat the Ballot Bandits. Now, this I call your ballot condom for safe voting. Huh. If you go to ba- ballotbandits.org, you can download the poster for free. You can order uh-huh. c- nice, colorful ones like I gave Tom. He gets one for free because he's so handsome. Indeed. Thank and you. Uh, actually, anyway, there, it's all from the not-for-profit organization trying to just save votes. I hope the Republican Party hands them out. You know, we want votes to count. And so at the back of the book, plus we have action resources, media resources like the Tom Hartman Show, the important thing is for people to know how they're doing it, the nine ways they're stealing it, and the seven ways that you can take to at least try to protect yourself. Yeah. Vote early before the ballot bandits wake up. Yep. Uh, d- don't go postal. What does that mean? Don't mail it in? Well, try not to mail it in if you can walk it in. Uh-huh. Because, because if you walk la- it in, you'll find out if you're being challenged or not. Well, yeah. One, you'll find out if you're, being, if you're suddenly a challenge voter. They say you're a felon. They say you're insane. You can't vote if you're insane in Florida unless you're the governor. And <laughs> Okay, that's a joke. I made that yeah. up. Uh, but, the, uh, you, but you can't vote if you're insane in Florida, right. really. Um, suspect voters, alien voters, which... We haven't found, but they're knocking off tens of thousands of voters that way. The suspect addresses the cage voters. And something else, too. 488,000 ballots, mailed-in ballots, in 2008 were rejected for wrong size envelope, wrong postage. Your name on the outside doesn't match the way you signed it on the inside because you included a middle initial on the inside but not on the outside. This time it's going to be four times as many because the... Coke and Rove organizations are now sending out challengers to look at every absentee ballot. Walk it in if you can. Walk, and early. Walk it in and, and do it early. Greg Palace, you can read all about it in Billionaires and Ballot Bandits, How to Steal an Election in Nine Easy Steps, and I would add what you and I can do about it. Greg, thanks. 